friends, it's Melissa from Children's House 4 and today I'm here to show you a fun art project. This art project is um, based on process art and I think the first time I heard about process art I was like, just art to be creative and not to end with a product. So um, we dappled with it a lot in the classroom this year and it is so much fun because it's just the kids being creative and creative exploration is like the foundation to problem solving, so art like this serves a dual purpose. Anyways, so today what we'll need for our art project is a muffin tin. I chose a smaller one, but you can use the bigger ones if you'd like. You'll need tempera paint, which I already put into cups with paint brushes. You'll need paper and either a paper cutter or scissors to cut your paper into the size that will fit on top of the muffin tin, like that. So, the first thing you do is you line your table with paper and you have on an old shirt that can get messy. And you start by putting your paint on the muffin tin. Thicker is better. Okay, once you have your paint, your tempura paint, on the bottom of your muffin tin, where it gets fun for the kids, well, it got fun with them putting the paint on the bottom. Take your paper and just press it down on one of the paints. It's pretty just like that. But try using as many paints as you want. I'm gonna use a little yellow and a little purple. Pretty. A couple more. I'm going to go and finish up all of my paper here and I'll be back um, to show you how many I've done. Have fun! Hi guys, I'm back and I just wanted to show you um, what I created. So here it is, all my muffin tin art. I'll show you it a little closer. The colors are just so pretty. I'm going to let them dry. And once they're dry, I'll come back and share a few thoughts on what I think I might do with these. See you soon. Hi again, it's Melissa. I just wanted to follow up with this beautiful muffin tin art. Aren't they lovely? Sometimes when you do processed art, it's just a lot of mess. Um, this time it was messy, but I think there's lots we could do with this. Maybe make a collage. Uh, maybe some garland. For friends who know me, they'll not be surprised to know that I am making cards that I can send to friends. Well, thanks for listening, and I'm going to send you the link. I can't take credit for this beautiful art. I'm going to send you a link to a blog that's fantastic and has countless ideas for preschoolers and older kids. Okay, thanks for listening. Take care. Bye.